And this is a sad situation because this guy went out uh, on a mission. He knew what he was going to do. Tonight, authorities say the suspect killed by Pinellas County deputies last week pointed a BB gun at them. Good evening, I'm Keith Kate. I'm Jennifer Lee, thank you for joining us. It all unfolded after a crime spree crossing multiple Bay Area counties. Authorities say 43-year-old Robert Hubbard was on a mission. News Channel 8's Brittany Muller joins us now live from the Clearwater Police Department with the story. Brittany. Jen, Keith, a good evening. Clearwater Police say 43-year-old Robert Hubbard had already decided his fate the day that he was fatally shot last week. And that gun he aimed at deputies with was in fact a BB gun. From above, Pinellas County deputies seen chasing Robert Hubbard, who was driving a stolen car. Through Clearwater and into Safety Harbor on Thursday, Deputy Robert Smith performs a pit maneuver. Hubbard stops, immediately gets out of the car, aiming what appears to be a gun at deputies. That firearm was pointed at him before he could even get his seatbelt off and get the firearm up. The deputy was forced to fire through the windshield of the car to protect himself. We're stopping the video here. In total, Chief Dan Slaughter says deputies fired 59 rounds, killing Hubbard. Turns out his weapon was actually a BB gun. The evidence is overwhelming that the, the deputies were in a position that they had to do what they had to do. The day before, Hubbard sent disturbing text messages to his family. Locking all numbers, so tell uh, whoever else, cops, I hope, gun's going to be a nice shootout. Police say after that, he carjacked a golf cart, then a vehicle at gunpoint in Hillsborough County. Hubbard also tried to rob someone at an Outback and Walmart in Pasco. A lot of effort, a lot of work goes into training the deputies. They train all the time, and, and it showed here. Pinellas County Sheriff Bob Gultieri says three of his four deputies are already back to work. The deputies are are doing fine uh, overall, uh, but anytime you have to take a life, it's it's a hard thing. It's a bad thing. Tonight, both the county's task force and the state attorney's office are investigating the deadly shooting separately. Keith and Brittany, I know you looked into this guy Hubbard. What have you learned about his past? The Clearwater Police Department says Hubbard served time in prison involving two separate bank robberies. They also said that he has a history of drug and alcohol abuse and that he had been depressed since the age of 15. Brittany Miller reporting live for us in Clearwater. Thank you.